I was a little disturbed that some of the allegations are that these are second class fields, that they're, they're dangerous, they're not suitable, they're dismal. I think I saw one statement saying that we have dismal fields here at Keopulani. And I think that everyone should, should take another look at these fields. These fields are great. And people have talked about how Maui's fields for baseball and softball are probably the best in the state. So I think we have really put a lot of effort into trying to meet the needs of our youth activities. So I'm a little, I'm a little concerned that this comes up this way and that we can't work things out in a, in a reasonable way so that everyone has an opportunity to participate in the sport that they choose to participate in. I think that some of the controversy started when they were going to redo the um, field number one, which is a little league field over at the War Memorial Complex. And you know, remember that those fields were built by the Little League and by volunteers who came in to, to do the work plus provide the materials to build those fields. You know, the problem is, is when they change the um, softball season to be the same as the baseball season, that, per, that in itself caused many, many conflicts because now you've got almost double the amount of people who want to use the same facilities. When they were a different season, there wasn't a problem because then we could take the mounds off the little league fields and use them for softball. But now to, to expect that we're gonna change the mounds on the, on the little league fields every time there's a team that wants to practice softball or have a softball game, that makes it really, really hard. I coached softball for Maui High School here and we played on the little league fields, the, the games, but we have to play with the mounds, which is not truly a softball game. It's, it's gathering whichever coaches and, and people in the leagues, like a little league has a number of, of coaches, and they come in and we talk about schedules together, and I think tomorrow can probably give you more details about how the schedules are actually worked out. But we, do, we, can't, we don't have enough fields for everybody. So it's, it's a, a combination of you want to give the kids the best possible facilities they can, but it is not impossible to practice on a non-regulation field. It is not impossible. It's a challenge for a coach to come up with drills and activities that are teaching the skills and so that when they get to a regulation field, of course they feel like they're in heaven when they're in a regulation field after being on some of the stuff they've practiced on, but it's not impossible to teach the kids and have these activities. I think we can work things out between, uh, between and among all of the teams who want the uses, but I think everyone has to be reasonable. I, I, don't, I don't believe that we're being unreasonable by offering this field here. And it's a good field. I, I guess we have to wait to see what happens during, um, during the whole process of now that a lawsuit's been filed against the county. We'll have to go through that process and try to figure out, um, you know, depending on what the outcome is. No, I didn't see this coming. I heard some rumblings earlier, uh, but it's all happened. I guess picked up speed in the last week or so. Um, I knew there was some uh, discussion and some maybe not content, discontent with the way the schedules were made. Um, but I think we were trying to work with providing fields for everyone who needed to have practice fields for both their baseball and softball uh, programs. And the County of Maui has always been here to try to meet the needs of, of these groups because we of course support all these youth activities. And um, the county actually, our first responsibility is to the county programs. And uh, we have traditionally worked with uh, hi uh, the high schools and with the MIL, which is part of the high schools, um, to provide fields for them, not just for their games, but also for practices. Because the schools have, um, have not been able to, to provide those fields and those practice areas for, for their teams. I'm probably the most perfect person to talk about this because I've had the most experience in this area. Well, first starting out as a player, I played college softball and volleyball and a whole bunch of, a bunch of other sports. My major was in physical education. I coached for 20, 30 years um, in various high schools, both on Oahu and here. So as the athletic director of Maui High School, I was the second female athletic director in the state of Hawaii. And one of the things I did, and some people will talk about this, as athletic director, I insisted that the JV teams had their own uniforms and that they were not getting hand-me-downs from the varsity. So it was more about minor sports and major sports back then than it was about girls and boys. Now we fast forward here, you know, I was the parks director for a while, and anybody want to guess how many regulation softball fields we had in the county of Maui when I took over as parks director in, in 1989? Zero. We had no softball, regulation softball fields, and that was one of my goals, that we were going to build softball fields because the softball fields are different than the baseball fields. 
and I think some people don't understand that there is a difference between a baseball field and a, and a softball field. In baseball and softball, however, there are differences within the infield, differences in the pitcher's mound, and differences in the distance to the outfield. So th there is a sizable difference. And we've tried to accommodate all of the softball team's uses, and there are three or four organizations of organized softball that have different distances, different regulations for base, uh, base paths, how long they should be, and for the pitcher's area, how far from the plate they should be. And one of the things that I saw, a baseball field has a mound, and a softball field doesn't. And that makes a big difference in the sport. And so the, you cannot equate softball and baseball together.